Okay, we know that the tomato is a fruit because it's the seed-bearing part of a flowering plant. But did you know that it's our favorite fruit? Americans eat more tomatoes each year than they do apples or even bananas. So it's no wonder we try to keep tomatoes farm fresh flavor around all year long in the form of sun-dried tomatoes. It takes 20 pounds of fresh tomatoes to make one pound of these. But how exactly do they reduce plump, juicy tomatoes down to these prune-like slices? The answers can be found at Train of Foods in California, where from July through October, 300,000 pounds of tomatoes arrive every day. 50, 60,000 pounds of fresh tomatoes for every truckload. And up the elevator they go where they'll actually be washed with a chlorine spray. These are Roma tomatoes, which are also called plum tomatoes because of their oblong shape. Romas have more pulp and less water than round tomatoes, which makes them ideal for drying. But only perfectly ripe and fresh tomatoes make the cut. So after the tomatoes are washed, they're sent through an electronic sorter that culls out damaged or unripened fruit. And the tomatoes that make it past the sorter are sent into an automatic cutter. Inside the machine, the tomatoes are fed past a round, rotating blade that slices each tomato exactly in half. The machine can slice eight to nine pounds of tomatoes per second. Then it's off to a machine that's unique to tomato drying called a cupper upper. In order to cure it properly, the tomato must be face up on the tray. And the cupper upper does this by vibrating the product, putting it into troughs, and laying it perfectly onto the redwood drying tray. The tomatoes dry better when they're face up because all their moisture is exposed. Workers double check to be sure each slice is facing the right way. Then the trays full of tomatoes are stacked and carted away by forklift to the curing shed. Curing tomatoes is a little like smoking meat in a smokehouse. Inside the shed, the tomatoes are treated overnight with sulfur, which is a natural preservative that locks in all of the flavor, color, and nutrition of the fresh tomato. The next morning, the trays are laid out in the California sun, and it's an amazing sight. 30,000 trays of tomatoes spread out over 12 acres, and this is where sun-dried tomatoes really earn their name. The sun slowly evaporates the water out of the tomatoes, leaving the rest of the tomato goodness behind. You'll see a tray like this that's almost dried and a tray right next to it that's several days off. Difference being this tray has been here for five, six days. This tray just got laid out maybe a day or two ago. It takes about five to seven days for the tomatoes to fully dry, depending on the intensity of the sun. A lot of it is just experience. Of, of our staff knowing when the tomatoes are, are ready to take off. When the tomatoes are just right, the trays are collected and fed into a scraper where workers with hand tools make sure every last tomato is scraped free of the tray. As you can see, the tomatoes are bounced very strongly up and down on the vibratory machine to get out anything we might not want in there. Random samples are sent to the lab. Tests are run to check for bacteria, sulfur content, and moisture. Then, the dried tomatoes are kept in cold storage until they're ordered by restaurants or food processors. We can dice the tomatoes however you want them. The dried tomatoes can wait in cold storage for up to a year before they're packaged and shipped out. And they weigh nearly 95% less than when they started. But because the sun only removes their water, all of the flavor and nutrition is the same as a tomato picked fresh from the vine.